Hello. This is the, uh, by popular demand, probiotic detox drink. Um, about a, two weeks ago, two or three, I was stressing out about <clears throat> affording probiotics. I would buy these little things of sauerkraut for ten dollars. Tasted great, but um, it's not very affordable. And the biggest thing with health is what people say is that's too expensive or I can't afford that. So this kind of takes away any of those excuses because everyone can afford this. Um, this is a very easy drink to make. So getting right into it, pretty much <clears throat> you can get these, uh, these are the best glass things to use. It's a pitcher. Quadro, Bed Bath & Beyond sells these. It's a bisphenol A free plastic lid. And uh, it's cool because when you put it on there, it can still breathe. It's not, uh, it's not completely closed off. My other brew, if, it, if you have a completely sealed lid, then you have to burp it often. So I burp it in the morning pss, and then at night. Pss. So the carbonation it's a lot more work. This this way, it kind of you don't really have to maintain it that much. So uh, let's see. So yeah, first I'll show you the finished product. Take that off. It smells really good. See all those bubbles? Let me see if you can. Yeah, you can kind of. There you go. So those bubbles are what you want to see. That means it's fermenting. In this one I have uh, just pineapple, rind and all. And my favorite, um, I like to use pineapple and coconut. They go really well together. The flavor is just really awesome. Um, so yeah, as far as the materials go, um, one, you get your pitcher, preferably two or three of these, or four. Um, you don't want to limit yourself to, to, to how much you can drink. If you have a rough day, if you're eating a lot of garbage, if you're going out with friends, you want to slam this stuff and you'll feel awesome. So um, that's number one, the pitchers. Number two is you need the probiotics. This one is a really good brand, Ultimate Flora. You can buy this at um, any health food store in the refrigerated section. This is a 14 strain, 80 billion. And then um, this was my brother's, so I just got one from him. And then this uh, I got from my friends. This is a 400 billion 34 strain from Garden of Life. Um, and the cool thing is there was only one strain that overlapped with these. Uh, rom, rom Gnosis or something, the rom one. Um, and then I also used, lastly, I don't have it with me, it's at my friend's, but he gave me this to throw in. It's Jaro Formulas. It's a really long word. That's for helping uh, with viruses in the body. That's a yeast. They, they, it's in most kombuchas. So, here's the thing. Okay, so you have your probiotic powders. And the thing is, you don't have to throw all these at once. You don't have to start with 47 strains like I did, 48. Start with whatever you have, and you could always add in more strains later. But the thing is, each one of those, this is the magic of the, of the brew, each strain does something different. So, just like minerals, there's 80 plus minerals, magnesium does 300 things, zinc, copper, iron, blah, blah, blah. Each, each bacteria does something different. And so a lot of the bacteria, um, some of them help digest lactose, some of them produce B vitamins, some of them eat encrusted fecal matter in the intestinal tract. Um, according to Kassar, who I got this recipe from, Robert Kassar, he said there's some that eat radiation, there's some that eat crude oil, just like they're finding you know, mushrooms that eat plastic and stuff. Um, there's always going to be something that eats something. The cool thing about these bacteria is, what do they eat? They eat... Sugar, Costco, 10 bucks, cane sugar, you don't, 
I've experimented with using agave powder, different sugars. You want the white sugar. Brown sugar doesn't seem to work that well. This sugar works magically. I highly recommend it. A dollar a pound. Anyone can afford this. That's going to probably last me, even if I slam this stuff, about a month. Probably last me at three months. So, without further ado, you have the pitchers, you have the probiotics, and you have your white organic cane sugar. <clears throat> Fair trade, of course. So, um, you can either get a uh, you can either get a pineapple and cut it up, chop it up, throw in everything, the skin, the rinds, make sure it's organic. And you know the skin is where all the, the phytonutrients, just like a lemon, the rind, the skin has a lot of goodies in it. So you want to ferment that as well. So I have three pre-cut coconuts here. So all you do, you can use, uh, according to Kassar, you can use pasteurized coconut water. Um, I've used raw and I was very fortunate enough to find these organic Thai coconuts at an Asian market, certified organic. Never, never seen that, it's amazing. So yeah, just put it in there. The sugars in the coconut are going to help speed up the process. You can just use water. Um, what I'm going to do with this one is use, uh, here's the thing, ideally you want to use at least half some type of juice. That was a bad spill. <laughs> um, so I, I wouldn't go full water just for flavor's sake. I mean, it'll still taste pretty good, but um, just, you know, go to the store and get, uh, get, some, uh, get some coconut water. Um, Costco sells the, uh, the raw coconut water, and usually, you know, three, four bottles would be good of, of that, um, that one. But then from here, so, so I'm going to show you two things. If you were to start from scratch, then you would do it as I did it so far. And now we have the liquid. And this is you know, the raw coconut water. And you would just throw in chunks of pineapple. What that's going to do is that's going to raise the, the water level, right? Um, you, you throw in your chunks of pineapple, or I'm going to throw in coconut meat. And then you put in the probiotic powder. You don't even have to stir it. I mean, I would just maybe shake it so the powder doesn't sit at the top. Um, but that's pretty much it. So this is to have an endless supply of probiotics where you can use one pill and it's going to last you years if you keep it going. And so this brew is already fermented, right? It smells really good. All you do is, I'm going to do it over the sink here, is you pour, look at that foam, that's crazy. So, pretty much I'm just doing half, half and half. And I wasn't really able to get as many coconut chunks as I wanted. So, let's see if I could fish them out of there. <laughs> that's not gonna work. Um, so what's cool is, this is a, a, a nice note with the, um, the pineapple chunks that I put in there. Those are kind of like little homes for the probiotic bacteria to, uh, to live in. So if you don't have the chunks um, from my friend's brew, I found that it, it goes a lot slower. So if you have chunks of coconut meat, eventually that will turn into coconut cheese. Um, the pineapple, you know, these are... Mm. There's pretty much no sugar in there. And each chunk houses tons of bacteria. So that's pretty much it. Um, to keep it going, I would add, uh, add some sugar. So I use about 
see that. I don't want to spill it. <laughs> About a spoonful. And uh, then we do, just kind of eyeball it. I'll do maybe like three spoonfuls in a size, in a pitcher that's sized like this. The more vinegary you want it, the more sugar you put in. And uh, the longer you let it brew, the more vinegary it'll get. Personally, I like it when it's somewhere in between, where it's not like apple cider vinegar, like taking a shot. I mean, what, I'll, what I'm going to end up doing is having maybe one of these pitchers be like that, where it's more of like a medicinal, uh, holy crap, I just ate out and my stomach's exploding kind of emergency. And then I come home and I drink a cup of that. And what's cool is the bacteria are like cleanup crew. You drink it and it goes in your intestinal tract and starts breaking down stuff. And if you have an empty stomach, that's why this is really good in the morning, it'll start breaking down um, old matter that's stuck in there that's crusted on your intestinal tract. But if you drink it with food, um, it's really good because it'll help you break down your food. This is packed full of not only probiotics, but a ton of enzymes, of course. Um, of course, enzymes are what help us break down our food. Um, digestive enzyme pills and uh, activated charcoal. I like to keep those in my magic bag for when I go out and eat because those are very convenient but as far as when you're home you want why not get the highest quality and, and you know what went into it you know all the strains that you have in there uh, this is really the key to uh, vital health and it's one of the easiest things to, to make and to do uh, the probiotic companies don't really want you to know this it's really easy to do this like, it, you almost can't mess it up. The only way you can mess it up is like when I made sauerkraut last year and I had a little island of cabbage and I was using cheesecloth as the lid and little fruit flies got in, they laid their eggs and had maggots, little white worms. With this, you're not gonna have that because it can breathe and it can pour, but bugs can't get in here. And what I do is I keep it in my closet just keep it somewhere dark and cool. And as far as how long it takes, I don't know, go by taste. Just drink it. Um, you can kind of smell it, but I would just say just, just pour like a little shot glass and try it. Um, this is, I mean, super, super vinegary. Um, I've had this one going. Let's see here. Doesn't taste bad, yeah. So, ideally, I think if you if you're looking for more of a like a kombucha, uh, somewhere in between, um, it's amazing. The kombuchas at the store are super sugary compared to this stuff. I've been drinking those, you know, GTS, all those other kombucha brands for years. This is so much better, and you feel the power. The first time I drank this, my stomach was like, all this stuff was going on. Um, it really just uh, really enhances your life. My mind even felt different. I was I was thinking more clearly. I mean, I'm doing a lot of stuff too at the same time. But um, when you think about it, absorption, assimilation, digestion—it's really everything. And uh, these make B vitamins, which are what give us energy and help digest food. So this is like the ultimate thing you could do for your health that's really, really, really affordable. Um, so yeah, try it out. Um, comment below, let me know if you have questions or how it went. And have a great day.